There are over 900 names and titles for God. And around Christmas time, we experience so many of them. Wonderful counsellor, Prince of Peace, Son of God. But my favourite one is Emmanuel, which means God with us. And Hebrews 12 in the message version says, God is not an indifferent bystander. And for me, that sums up what it means for God to be Emmanuel. It means that he's not a God that stands distant, not a God that stands back and watches us just get on with our lives, but he's a God that gets involved. He's a God that interacts with us. He's a God that loves to communicate with us and to have relationship with his children. And God is a God of communication and the Bible is one of the main ways that he communicates with us, his children that actually through the Bible, we can interact with God. In Luke 6, we see Jesus walking with his disciples in the cornfields, picking off the heads of corn and eating them. And the Pharisees see Jesus do this and they are outraged. They see Jesus picking the corn and they say, that is unlawful for the Sabbath. And they go up to Jesus and start getting angry at him saying, what you're doing is completely unlawful. It goes against the Torah. And we see Jesus respond and he says, but do you remember when David with his companions went and got the consecrated bread and started eating that? And then he finishes with this amazing statement which says, the son of man is Lord of the Sabbath. And what Jesus is doing here is he's challenging the Pharisees relationship with the law. He's saying the way that you read scripture, you've moved away from relationship, which was the intention of the law. The whole reason that God created the law was for relationship. He said, I want a way that I can interact with my people, that I can come close to my children. I want relationship. And he did that through the law. And yet we see the Pharisees turn it into religion, where they come away from relationship being the goal. And it all becomes about rules and regulation, that actually something that was intended to bring freedom and liberation brings restriction and brings rules and when we read the Bible when we interact with the Word of God so often I think we can remove the relationship side of it but God's intention with his word God's intention with the Bible is that it's done in relationship with him that we actually get to read the Bible with the author himself We get to sit down with Emmanuel, God with us, the Holy Spirit, and he's the one that brings the words to life. He's the one that brings transformation. The Bible was never meant to be a textbook that we read just to know about God, a historical text where we just find out facts about him. But the Bible was meant to be this interactive, relational journey that we go on to actually know God himself, that we don't just know about God, but we get to know him. Emmanuel, God with us, the Holy Spirit can partner with us as we read his word together. The vicar of Holy Trinity Brompton in London, Nicky Gumbel, once said, every morning I open the Bible and I expect God to speak to me. And that is such a challenge and such an invitation as well that actually as we sit down and read the Bible, I encourage us to actually invite the Holy Spirit to come and speak to us as we read. That actually we don't read it out of religion and out of rules of trying to understand just a theory, but actually we read it in relationship with God himself, the creator of the universe. We get to sit with the author and invite him to come and speak to us, that he is the one that brings understanding and life through the words. So let's this Christmas read the Bible with the author himself.